Stepping into the ring is the judge for the utility group. This is Terry Nethercott. He's been judging for over 35 years. He's judged literally all over the world. And there's the biggest and most imposing dog in the in the group, the Akita. And here's one of the small ones, a little Yankee Doodle Dandy, this the Boston Terrier. There's the emblem of Britain, topping an entry of 238 Bulldogs today, this wonderful Bulldog. A recent reintroduction to the United Kingdom became endowed, generally accepted as the national breed of Israel. And there's the dignified stride of the Chow Chow coming in. Characteristic gait, relatively short striding, high set tail over his back. And the very distinctive appearance, of course, of the Dalmatian, like being either black spotted or liver spotted. He's a black, of course. And now the irresistible French bulldog. And this one a pied, a white background with the black patches on it. The smallest of the German Spitz, the German Spitz breeds for many years, the tiniest one, about 2.3 kilograms, just 5 pounds. And here's the larger version, it's the, the little German Spitz, and if viewers think he looks like a Pomeranian, he's in the background of the Pomeranians. Yes, separated from the Akita in the UK in 2006, following the division of the two breeds in most other countries. And a smaller version of the Akita, it's the Japanese Shiba Inu coming in now. Another Japanese breed as well, the Japanese Spitz. Another growing army of Spitz breeds at Croft. And here's the very smart Kazon, the Dutch barge dog with the shades of grey. A breed that comes from Tibet, the Lata, so live at high altitude. This one does it. And a very smart outline of the pepper and salt miniature schnauzer striding in there. First of three sides of the poodle, this one is the miniature. Nice black one coming in. The largest of the poodles, the standard poodle, just <laughs> full of fun and loving the occasion. And those lovely driving rear legs of the smallest of them, this is the toy poodle. Now the sharp, brisk action of the skipper key coming forward. The Dutch barge dog. This fine dog, the schnauzer, middle-sized member of the schnauzer family, not the giant and not the miniature. And now this sarpe, having topped 85 of them today in the breed. The shih tzu here, people get confused between this and the uh, Last out, so that's the shit too. And here the smart Tibetan Spaniel striding in. And last in the group, but by no means least, of course, this is the Tibetan Terrier, the tallest of the Tibetan breeds in the utility group. Thank you very much. 2,906 dogs judged here today in the utility group. Well, Terry Nethercott has seen them all, had his hands on them all, and he's now going to take a last look. Which is he going to pick for his shortlist? You'll have a pretty good idea where he's going to go with the shortness, won't you, at this point? In, in comes now, the chip. He's bringing them from the reverse end. So he's bringing in the oh, Tibetan, he's bringing in the Shih Tzu, the, shih tzu, the, the, the standard poodle. The Sarpe comes in, the Lazarapso comes in, the Shiba Inu is brought forward, the French Bulldog's brought in, and, and the Akita, and, and the Dutch. The Dalmatian. We've got eight. Well, I'm going to hedge my bets and not commit. <laughs> it's the standard poodle. Well, it's Vic, Vic Miles Rayball, the standard poodle has won the utility group for Sharon Pan Hayes. In second place, the Laza Abso Zentar Elizabeth. Well, you nearly got it right for the winner, but reserves got it up. Third place, the, the Akita, the American Elder Akita, taking third spot.
where we're going for fourth now for fourth spot where we're going it's the young oh, shih tzu, little little shih tzu ten my months word. old what a, it's it's a fantastic, fantastic yes group four ten months old my word it's going to have a future that one isn't it So there are the four winning positions, but that's the one who's taking the prize. Champion Vikmar's Rayvon Theo, two years and one month old. Sharon Pine Haynes from Cranley and Surrey, 16 cc's. Oops. Glenn Annis from the great devotee of utility breeds and schnauzers presenting the trophy to Sharon Pine Hayes there and she looks quite overcome but the dog's quite unfazed. Look how elegant he looks there. Quite enjoying it. Poodles love that. Lovely almond shaped eye. Look at his expression. He's just looking round and taking it all in. Lovely profile and shot of him there. Very, Very elegant. Nice. Very